All right, let, let's get to the one. A lot of the fans, they were like, make sure you ask him about Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> what happened here? We, we're, we're creeping up on the 20th anniversary uh, of this altercation. Uh, first and foremost, what happened? Well, we, we end up getting cross match. Allen was guarding him, but Allen took a shot. And so my job as a point guard is to get back. So I end up with Kobe. So we're running, you know, down the paint. He popped me with an elbow. I'm like, okay, mm. that's how it's going to play. So we end up going back down the other end, come back down again. He popped me again. So I look at the ref. I know the ref name to this day, Monty McCutcheon. Oh, boy. I said, Monty, you go do this? Because Monty, I knew Monty in the CBA. Okay. So I call him by his first name. I said, you go take care of this. And he shrugged his shoulders like, what you want me to do? So I was like, okay, I'll take care of it. So we go around the pick. He popped me again. And so I push him. Kobe's 6'6". Six, six. I was only 6'3". So he walked up on me. I had to, you know, nudge him with the head just to get some distance. And he threw another little chicken elbow to miss. And at that time, I had enough. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I don't want to knock him out. Because if I knocked him out, I'd still be suspended. I just right. wanted to pop him. Right. The, you know, the lady, no, you know, I got a little brother, and you're like, hey, man, yeah. take this with you. Just, just, just a wake-up call, just a chin check. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just don't, a chin don't, check. Don't, don't think it's soft over here. Yeah. That. You know, and so now he, he gets it. But I think I helped him because after that, he started lifting weights and doing Sprite commercials. <laughs> <laughs> he was motivated. He was motivated uh, after that one, man. Yeah. He, he, I seen him get into it with Mike and, and Reggie and stuff. I'm like, okay. I had a, a imprint on his uh, toughness. I, I remember that, man. I remember that. Yo, know, Jail, the funniest thing about it is when Kobe hits him with the forearm, you could see Chris like, what? And yeah. they catch him with the bop, bop. <laughs> then, you got, then you got Shaq and Patrick getting into it a little bit. And one thing about Patrick, even though he never really threw hands like that back in the day, every skirmish of his career, he was always involved. Like, he was always in the mix. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Then, then you got yeah, Spike that, Spike standing up. He the only one standing up in the crowd. You could make Spike out from, from a mile away. That was right. crazy. Right, the man. orange. He got on the orange, neon orange or whatever. Yeah. But Patrick, that's that uh, Georgetown mentality. That That's you our know, guy, man. That's that Georgetown mentality. Because I remember a buddy of mine, Mark Tillman, played for Georgetown. And he was telling me about the Georgetown mentality. So Patrick brought that to the Knicks. And he was always a protector. Uh, Oak, same way. So we, um, it was just one of those things for the moment. I didn't go into it thinking I was going to do that, but I had just got fed up and had enough, and the young fella tried the wrong guy that day. Chris Childs putting the goats to the test. And and the last one from the physicality standpoint, a lot of people forgot that you and MJ got into it. What happened with that, man? 